I have a GE combination wall oven. Turning the oven on I get the following mask. Lower oven cooling fan error. Service may be needed. I have tried to reset by powering off the unit but MSSG persists. Is your GE oven gas or electric? How old is it? Electric and it's approx 2 to 3 years old. How long has this been going on with your GE oven? What have you tried so far? Two days. I have tried the clear button as the manual describes and disconnecting power in an attempt to reset. Anything else we should know to help you best? From what I have learned it could be the fan or control board how do I determine which? I need your oven model number to help. Open the doors and look on the frame around the outside of the oven for it. PT7800DH4BB Okay give me a few minutes to see if there may be a service bulletin on this. Okay. To see if the blower motor is defective, kill power to the oven. You must remove the trim from above the lower oven by removing four Torx T20 screws from the middle cover trim, then four Torx screws from the middle trim, and two one quarter inch screws from the motor door latch assembly and set this assembly aside. Press down on a black plastic tab above the circuit board on the frame and pull the circuit board out. On this board look for the J801 connector and using a volt slash ohm meter set to read resistance, use a low ohm scale, like our X100, measure from the J801 pin 3 a black slash white wire to the J102 connector white wire, you should get 18 ohms resistance. Then measure from J102 white wire to J801 pin 2 a red slash white wire and you should get 25 ohms resistance. These are the high and low speed motor windings of the cooling blower motor. If you don't get either of these readings the blower is defective. It requires two people to replace the blower, oven needs to come out and then the back wall of the oven removed to gain access to it to replace it. Okay, if it's not the blower motor what is NXT? You could jump across the relay on this same board with power restored to see if the blower runs which would indicate this board is defective. Thank you. Can't do the work right now, is there a way to contact you again if I have problems? When you get back on and ask a question it will go to me. The relay on this board is marked K205, but I don't see an easy way to jump it. The bottom of the board is where the solder connections are but normally these boards have a film covering on the bottom and you can't get to them. If the fan is good, it almost has to be the board, right? Yes, if I got those readings I'd replace the board. Thank you again. Good service will definitely use you again and recommend you to others. Part number for that board is WB27 by $25,692.36 from www.repairclinic.com. Here's a quick check, you need two people. Turn off the breaker, wait a few seconds and restore power. Have second person listen and feel for air at the vent on the bottom. The fan should run for a few seconds. Do it a couple times to verify that it does run. If it does then the blower is okay, which means the speed sensor is the problem, blower works but sensor is not detecting it. This sensor is attached to the blower housing and also requires removing the oven to get the back off to access it. Okay thanks. Curious what you determined the problem was. And thanks for the good rating. We got the ohm readings which eliminates the blower's problem. Not able to jump relay.
powered on but no momentary fan. Plan is to order and replace board. Okay might be a while before I get it done. Assume I can return if not installed. Sound about right? Yes, good idea on the speed sensor, hope you don't need it, requires taking oven out of the cabinet. Yeah I know, not bad just heavy and awkward. Unfortunately repair clinic is out of stock 2-3 to three weeks. Am I looking for board fan sensor WB27 T11463? Yes, correct part hash appliance parts pros has it in stock. Yeah I've found them there, thanks. How'd it go? This is not concerning your problem, but could you tell me, did you have difficulty rating my answers, finding the stars where were the stars specifically on the page? I have a customer that says there are no stars to select anywhere on his end. Waiting for parts to arrive. I don't remember the exact configuration of the rating but I had no difficulties and I'm a tech Neanderthal. And number 55357 semicolon and number 56898. Love that description. I still struggle with copy and paste. Hi Tom, been a while but I finally received the bridge board and installed it today. Unfortunately, I still have the same error message on the display. It does click and briefly runs the fan indicating that I need to replace the blower speed sensor. Correct. Another thing I noticed a flashing red light on the board after I tried the oven. It flashed for 30 to 60 seconds then went out. Is that a concern? Please answer by text hash hash hash. I'll try to find out about the flashing red light, but you are correct about replacing the speed sensor. Okay, thanks. It should blink, this indicates there is communication between the machine control board and the bridge board. You could do an error code test on the bottom oven to confirm that they are communicating or not. Is the error code test difficult? Or should I just replace the sensor and go from there? No, not difficult. You're only concerned about the bottom oven F codes. Hold the start and bake pads simultaneously for 3 seconds and error codes, if any should appear. I get an F96 code. That means the speed of the fan is below the minimum for 30 seconds, which makes sense since it is not running. Go ahead and replace the senior. Communication errors are F60 and F66 and you didn't get these, so that's good. Yes, I think, unfortunately that's the next step, removing the oven from cabinet. No problem I'll have some help tomorrow. I installed it, so I know what I'm up against. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for your help. Yeah, let me know, at this point I don't know what else it could be. There is no way to do a resistance check on the sensor, which would really be helpful, but we know the fan does run. Hey Tom replace the sensor and get the same F96 and lower oven code. Go back into service mode, hold bake and start for 3 seconds, then when that comes on where it displays F96 hit clear slash off to get rid of the error code and see if that makes it work. If it doesn't, you'll need to check at the machine control board, the other board between the two ovens, on connector J902 a 6 pin connector for 5 volts DC from the black to white wires there. This is the voltage feeding the air sensor board, the one you replaced, see if this board is feeding this 5 volts DC to it. Okay thanks. It'll be a while before I get to it. 
while you're looking at this board see if you can find Relay K205 on it, a small black box. Are there removable wires in and out of it? There are just two wires. J902 has 5 volts black to white. Relay K205 does not have removable wires. 5 volts are correct. Trying to find a way to force the fan to run, if the relay had removable wires, it would be simple. Have to go to doctor today, we'll get back to you. Okay, thanks. I'll have to call GE, but they'll want to know if I'm by the appliance or been there, so I need the serial number, I have the model, and your phone number, home or cell number, please provide. I don't see an easy way to make the fan run by bypassing a relay. I have two numbers written down. I believe the model hash is she 43P26UC-64 and serial hash is FD920,600,126. My cell hash is hash 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 plaza can beta GE that I am not at all happy with their product. The model is PT7800, so the serial that goes to that one, please. Serial start with two letters then all numbers. Get me that and I'll call them in the morning. LH600601Q Sorry if her hash s were dish for sure. Haven't had good luck with a pulse. Lately. GE agrees, no easy way to jump anything to make the fan run. So do this, set the oven to bake and check on the machine control board connector J801 pin to a red slash white wire to a ground screw or frame to see if you get 115 volts which is the voltage you should get to make the fan run 115 volts AC. Can I speak to you, without TXTNG? I can arrange for a phone call through the site, that way my number is out there for everyone to see. Okay. You'll have to accept the phone call to initiate a call. How do I do that? Don't you see on your end where you can accept a premium service? I have to leave for about an hour, I'll get back later. I'm TXTNG. Not on CMPTR, I need to get this FXD. I thought we eliminated fan as the problem when I replaced the bridge board. But we're back to fan. If not fan what else what else can it be beside bridge board or fan sensor? If you don't get 115 volts on J801 from pin 2 to ground the problem is the machine control board, part number WB27 by 25693. Okay I'll try that. Let me know. Can't find a J801 connector. There is a white slash red wire on pin 2 on a J700 connector. It's a 6 pin connector but has 5 wires to it on the machine control board, not the board you replaced, near it but a larger board. I get 123 volts. If you get 123 volts there the blower should run. Can you get to the blower motor connector without removing the oven again? Not sure. What are you getting at? If you have that voltage there it should also be at the 3 wire connector to the blower motor. Is that 3 wire connector on the control board? Lieutenant me look. I think we went through this before, trying to manually make the fan run. No, the K205 relay does not have removable wires, which would make this easier, need to get to the connector at the blower motor, red, white and black wires. Okay, what then? This is odd, because I remember you saying the blower did run, at least a short while. 
but need to see if there is now 120 volts AC from red to white, low speed, or black to white high speed at the blower motor when it's set to bake, or broil, or convection bake, any of those should make the blower run. It should run low speed, except in self-clean, then high speed. Okay, I'll pull the oven again and check. If I don't get that voltage it's the blower fan. Need to know if there is 120 volts red to white, if not is there 120 volts red to a ground. If that's the case, there is a bad connection in the white wire, the neutral wire. Okay might be a while before I get it done. If you do get 120 volts red to white it's the blower, if not check what I just stated, red to a ground for 120 volts. Okay thanks. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.